fix this thing right here. So this way all of our health heroes can see the food. Y'all, I gotta fix this food cam because we got issues with our kids. Fix your kids. Y'all, you do not have to have your children with ADD, ADHD, what else they have nowadays? Anxiety, depression, it's rampant, okay? We don't want that. I'm trying to get rid of this uh, feedback for all my health heroes. Hey there, G Albert. So good to have you all. We're gonna cook something today that is really going to make a difference in the life of your family, your everything, your children. Now, we say children, look, we're saying fix your kids, but y'all remember these kids grow up, right? So look, Glass's journey is like so true. We all talk about, you know, we all hear about, hey, I think there's, um, you know, ADHD. I think there's, these kids have behavioral issues. Guess what? Those kids are only kids for a few years. We got to fix it so that when we become adults, we can be functional in the workplace. Y'all know how many people out here are out here like, you know, as adults, just scrambling, struggling. Like the struggle is real. We don't want that, okay? So we're going to fix a delicious dish for y'all to fix your kids. But really, this is also going to fix all of us. And it's just using whole foods. Y'all know it's Thanksgiving season. And so I have a few things to show you today that foods that are in season that you can easily make. So y'all, we got a question here that's pinned in the chat. Do you know people managing their children's autism, ADD, depression, or other issues? Do you, do you know what's going on out here? Um, you know, if so, share this episode with somebody, share your story. So I'm just gonna get my food cam fixed up because I've got some frozen butternut squash now, y'all know I buy this frozen because you can get so much bang for your buck when you buy it frozen. Let me know if I am fuzzy. Let me know if y'all are hearing me okay, because I've noticed that for some reason my internet is looking like it ain't gonna let us be great today. Let's just double check our connection here. Okay, let's say we're on the best network. Let's see what happens. Let me stop this music for a moment and reset that. All right. Because y'all, that is Von Eric's uh, superfood beat that he provided for us. Uh, I call it a superfood beat, but, you know, he provided it for us. And so, you know, on this platform, once you stop the music, it kind of helps your um, broadcast. So I'm going to bring the um, music back. Thank you, Lashes Journey, saying it's perfect. Well, y'all. We're making a delicious pasta today. We're actually going to use the toaster oven. Y'all know I typically do everything in this one pan. So today we're using the toaster oven because I asked my kids yesterday, I said, what do you want? What do y'all want to eat? Um, and I, I said, they said, well, we want some noodles. I said, okay. Um, they said, I asked them, well, what do you want in the noodles? Like a red sauce? They said, we want a creamy sauce, a cheesy sauce. So that's what the butternut squash is. This is how we fake the cheese sauce, okay? So the other thing that we do is um, we, I don't have any okra. Y'all know David Hunt loves okra. I would have put okra in here because okra will help any cheese sauce be amazing. Okay. So I'm just going to add our food camera here. Y'all know this is the food camera, the cell phone right here. And luckily we're powered by StreamYard. And so if you want to have an amazing stream like this, just use StreamYard. It's free. I have a link in the bio. That way you can have a professional looking broadcast with things scrolling around across the bottom. Like you see superfoodparents.com right down there. Uh, you'll have banners and overlays and you can even share the screen because you know Ananiya is here. So we are sharing the screen today. We always share the screen. That way you all can see that this is not just me talking, right? We always want to bring receipts. We want to give you what you need. So I am going to bring this particular camera in and this will be our food camera. So let me make sure it's on the net best network and let me just bring it in. Okay. So we're making a cheesy pasta today, but look, this is what I fed my kids yesterday. This little pie, it's a sweet potato pie. Why can't I, um, hold on y'all. I gotta fix this a little bit because my Bluetooth, we wanna make sure the right one is connected. That way y'all don't hear the feedback. This little pie, I'm gonna show you all the recipe for it. I've improved this recipe so that it's like three steps. You just blend up butternut squash, sweet potatoes, and some spices in your food processor. You pour it into a pre-made crust. You put it in the toaster oven. 
and your kids have breakfast in about 30 minutes. Okay. You can even, you can even toast the sweet potatoes in the toaster oven. My point is that you can have your children. This was popping uh, TWP. You can have your children eating whole foods and you can fix their ADD, ADHD. Y'all know there's a huge rise in depression and anxiety amongst these kids. And what did we say? The kids turn into adults. That's the whole issue right there. So let me try to put our food camera in. Thank you, TWP Popcorn, for putting in hashtag health heroes. We appreciate you all for doing that. So here's one way that you can fix your kids. Y'all see this bowl right here? This good old fashioned bowl? Y'all know how cheap bananas are? Whole foods are your answer. Stop giving your kids fruit snacks. Stop giving them processed snacks. Um, oh Lord, I meant to bring my process. Oh, here it is. This is our version of a processed snack, y'all. I'm gonna show you this bucket right here. And then we're gonna get to cooking. So this used to have chia seeds in it, but I have repurposed this so that in there, these are things that I bought in bulk, right? And you I actually them. bought them from all yep. the bought. Let me quiet this camera. Um, we just ain't gonna be great today, but we're gonna try it. So in here we have non-dairy chocolate chips. Now this, this tastes like a candy bar. This is why I feed it to my kids because it has nuts, seeds, craisins, and uh, nuts, seeds, craisins, and the chocolate chips, the non-dairy chocolate chips. You can find non-dairy chocolate chips. I think Nestle made those chips or whatever. And when you eat these in combination, it does taste like a candy bar. Thank you, Ania, for putting in hashtag health heroes. So one reason that I um, did, this is just like a tech tip, y'all. One reason why I use my headset is so that you don't hear the Bluetooth from the extra device. Because no matter how far down I turn this, you can still hear the feedback. So let me just throw it in here and we'll go for it, okay? I'm gonna turn this food camera on because we're gonna start cooking today. And again, you all answer the question that we have pinned in the comments. Do you know people who are managing their children's autism? And also, what are they managing it with? Let me guess, Ritalin, Adderall, all these things. Y'all, eat better, do better, treat yourself better. Remember, all of the food, it starts with uh, plants. You know, they make all of the food from plants anyways. Lord knows, y'all, the studio is falling apart. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. I'm going to put this camera on so y'all can see what is in here, how it's working. And of course, with StreamYard, you can just use your cell phone as the extra camera. Then you just got to make sure that your extra camera is uh, looking good, right? I think that should do it. Yep, it's landscape, I believe. Let's see. I did adjust my, um, let's see, let's turn the camera on. Yep, we got it going, y'all. We got it popping. All right. So you all are putting in hashtag health heroes. I've showed you all just a few hacks with the sweet potato pie breakfast. And this is actually delicious. Like I said, sweet potatoes, you can put those in the toaster oven to bake them, or you can boil them when you boil your butternut squash. Buy this frozen, you get the best bargain with the butternut squash. Um, and then you just mix some spices, throw a little bit of plant milk in there. Like I used oat milk. I might've used almond milk. I think you can use rice milk. You can use any milk. Um, a little bit of sugar, enough to taste, right? Enough to sweeten it and boom, breakfast. So remember, you have all these different whole foods you can give your kids. Y'all know this is not medical advice. This is just uh, tips from a nurse, from a mom, right? I've been a nurse for 30 years now and um, next year will officially make 30 years. So I mean, shucks, I'm almost there, right? So I'm 30 years in. So I'm gonna use a couple of different things today. I'm gonna show you all how Brussels sprouts, onions, and garlic can really make a difference. I'm using this tray because this came from my toaster oven. I might walk y'all into the kitchen. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna go into the kitchen. We'll see what happens, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my garlic, I mean, excuse me, my Brussels sprouts 
and my onions and i'm going to throw those into the onto this tray as i slice them okay i'll put them on that tray so this way you all can see how this all comes together because if you aren't fixing your kids if your kids have if you have adults if you know adults that have anxiety that have uh depression that have add adhd see what foods they're eating a lot of times these people are not eating foods right so remember we're just making a creamy uh pasta today the pasta i'm using are rice noodles okay some people are allergic to uh gluten they have gluten sensitivities and wheat sensitivities but you can still find lots of pastas y'all this was out before gluten was a thing rice noodles have been out for years you can get them as linguine size these are the skinny angel hair ones okay i also have in my processed bucket to make this a little bit more creamy i will add about a half a cup of this um parmesan cheese by follow your heart y'all know follow your heart brand is one of my favorite brands so we'll put this one in there and i also have a shredded cheese now remember i made this dish yesterday for my kids but they ate it up so what I had to do was, and this is Wegmans plant-based uh, cheese, by the way. So let me just make sure you all can see it. Wegmans cheddar style plant-based shreds, okay? So they ate it up, but they have a rehearsal tonight, piano lessons. And I always send the piano teacher food, okay? Um, that is how we got our free piano. Hey, hey let me tell y'all about the free piano okay y'all voting for the kitchen y'all want to go to the kitchen today let me set my pearls oh my goodness i gotta take y'all into the kitchen okay i will take y'all into the kitchen today so that y'all can see the um poster oven and how these go in there because this brussels sprout this is how you process them you cut off the bottom and then a couple of outer leaves automatically fall off I have a trash bag somewhere here. I have my paper bag that I use for my compost. And then I like to cut them uh, down two times one way, then I lay it down and I cut it either in half or two times the other way. That kind of gives me the shreds, okay? So that's how I end up with these shreds, all right? So, hey, Momo, we got a lawyer in the house. Uh, so Momo's world, uh, we're trying to see if we want to go into the kitchen today because this is my tray from my toaster oven now i have to put these brussels sprouts and onions into the toaster oven so that they can toast up while i cook the butternut squash and the garlic uh because that's what's making the cheese sauce i do have a little bit of processed um cheese just to give it that creamy texture and to add to everything but as you see, I'm just chopping the Brussels sprouts and I'm using about 10 Brussels sprouts because y'all know these are powerhouse foods. But now that it's Thanksgiving time, people are wondering, how do I, uh, what do I do for Thanksgiving? Here's a dish you can serve up. It's kind of fancy because of the way that we serve it. So Momo, since we have to go in uh, to the kitchen, let us know if uh, Momo's world say, ha ha, which lawyer? Y'all know Momo is in Kenya. Uh, and you know, Africa does not have lawyers because, uh, you know, people always ask some crazy stuff like, do they have electricity? Do they have lawyers? Do they have running water? What's happening? Nope, they don't have lawyers, but Momo is a lawyer in Kenya. And um, yeah, that's the way it works. <laughs> so yeah, she's a real live lawyer, lawyer, has gone to school and everything. So y'all, let's see, let's see what the doctors say though. I know y'all are tired of me talking about it. Like, no, uh you know, you can't fix your kids, ADHD and all of that kind of stuff, but you can, Cinderella. Put in hashtag health heroes in the comments because this is how you win the giveaway. Y'all know we do two giveaways, at least one giveaway every episode. So Ananiya has already put it in there along with TWP Popcorn. And I think somebody else might've put it in there, but just in case they didn't, you put it in for yourself, okay? So this way we can go and see what the doctors say. Now y'all know I am PCRM certified. That means I have my food for life, my food for life certification. And so with this, I am going to um, just show you what PCRM is saying. This is one of the doctors from the PCRM stands for Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. So that's the video I'm going to show you. So this way you all can see 
on what the doctors are saying about how food does affect your mood. So it's not just me making stuff up. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's this is what the doctors are saying. Hey, hey, Tracy Minga Lee. Y'all, this is an OG for real. And y'all know Tracy Minga Lee, I know she has a grandson. So this is where, you know, boys tend to be more busy, right? She has a son too, but either way, you know, when they're younger, these children tend to be more busy. Let me tell y'all a quick story about Tracy Minga Lee. And Tracy, let me know if you want me to go to the uh, kitchen today, if you want me to show y'all the kitchen, or if I should just go in there by myself to put these Brussels sprouts and onions in the toaster oven or not. So Tracy Minga Lee was the first person to show me the value of Facebook. So that's what I'm talking about her. That's my good story about Tracy today. Uh, she goes way back uh, to, I think I had my first child. When I met, no, second child when I met her. Yes, the second baby was in a sling because my husband was starting a job with her and um, not with her, but they were working at a major bank. And so the baby was in a sling. Child, the baby is now 14. But anyways, so Tracy showed me the value of Facebook and I'm sure Tracy is still on Facebook. So if y'all want a friend, go find Tracy. She was always like that inspirational, happy person, no matter what happened. And she's had a lot of stuff that happened just like the rest of us. So if you're trying to figure out how do I feed my children and help their help their um, behavior with food, get as many whole foods into their diet, into their life as you can. Now, these foods are easy to find. They're cheap. They last a long time. Brussels sprouts and onions. You can keep them in the refrigerator for like two months. OK, you don't want to do that. You want to do like you mama grows hard in the garden and you want to grow your food and then eat your food plain and simple right simple as that so let's get back to what the doctors say this is of course pcrm y'all tired of hearing me talk once we finish with what the doctors say i'm going to take this food into the kitchen so y'all are about to see the kitchen Ooh. No, no, you're not. You're only going to see, um, and don't forget, I have to tell you the free piano story too, because I'm making this food for my kid's piano teacher. Um, you're only going to see the, um, what you call the thing? The toaster oven. That's all I'm going to show y'all. I ain't going to show y'all the whole kitchen. All right. So this is the host of Exam Room Live on the PCRM channel. Okay. So Coach Mary Ma is here from Cameroon. I'm Cameroonian today. Y'all know I love being Nigerian, but look who's here. Coach Mary Ma. So what else am I going to be? All right. So this is what the doctors say, not what Laquita say, what the doctors to that, we turn to Dr. Melissa Mandala. Dr. Mandala, thank you so very much for joining us today. Yes, it's my pleasure, Chuck. You nailed it on the head. There's so much of a big connection with mental health and the things you eat and how you move. So thank you for that warm introduction. Absolutely. My first question to you really is, I mean, does that pint of haagen actually do more harm than good here? Yes, absolutely. You know, there's dairy in it, right? And there's arachnoid acid. There's so many studies that replicate the fact that it is a pro-inflammatory substance and you, people tend to get more depressed, more anxious, um, even more overwhelmed and less focused. And so it, you really got to pay attention. That, the sugar, the additives, all cascade into a place of where you're getting more um, mental distress. So you use the term inflammation. A lot of times people think. Okay, y'all, I just had to pause a little bit because Tati is here from Romania. Tati, make sure you and uh, G. Albert and Anania all put in hashtag health heroes. One thing that she said was the dairy. It's the dairy in the haagen -Dazs. That's why I'm using non-dairy cheeses today. That's why I don't use dairy. I showed y'all last week. It won't me saying dairy is racist. It's the doctors themselves saying that so many of us have issues with dairy. It ain't for us. Oh, also, I had to stop this to give the disclaimer. These people don't talk this fast. Y'all know I think fast. I consume fast. Everything is fast because I may or may not have ADHD. I don't know. All I know is I know how to manage it with whole foods so that I'm not um, feeling any sort of way. I can focus. I can complete tasks. I can do all of those things because we had those diagnoses back in the 80s. But thank you so much, Ani Nia and Coach Mary Ma and Tati for putting in hashtag health heroes. Now, back to what the doctors say think of inflammation and they think about joint uh, health and, and, and uh, you know, just overall physical health, but not necessarily mental health. How does inflammation play into the mental aspect of things? Absolutely. So the neuroinflammation is huge, right? So you have arachnic acid, it's going, crossing the blood brain barrier. But in addition, your gut health is equally important. So about 90% of the serotonin is in your gut and about 40% of dopamine is in your gut. So you have the reward pathways. You also have the pleasure, the motivation. But when you have inflammation, all of those are dampened and really just messed up in a way where you're getting the complete opposite. So when you're deprived of healthy plant-based nutrients, you actually get more depressed, more anxious. There 
there's actually in a Minnesota study back in the early 1900s, they already started to test this. And so where they were lacking their antioxidants and minerals or vitamins, and they ended up getting more hysterical, more psychosis, more de depressed and apathetic. Um, so there's a great link of your mental health and your gut health. It's a All right. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mute myself. Hopefully y'all could hear her okay. If y'all are picking up what they're putting down, let me know if you can hear it okay. I'll mute myself this time because in StreamYard, when you play a video, like you're sharing the screen, it's best to mute yourself to reduce feedback. But y'all heard it. She said these folks got more um, crazy. I mean, she didn't say crazy. She said it in medical terms, but people were more calm. They were more under control. She used a lot of big terms about the chemicals in your brain, the serotonin and all of that good stuff. But basically what the doctor is saying is the whole foods made a difference. OK, good, good. So y'all can hear it. Thank you so much. G Mama grows hard in the garden. And Ananiya, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself and finish this segment of what the doctors are saying about mood, food and well, how we can help ourselves. OK, let's go. Did you say that 40% of the dopamine pathways are, are in the gut? Yes, it is. It's it's pretty fascinating because in your gut, you you would you would never know that. What every time you're ingesting these pro-inflammatory states, you're actually feeding those uh, mic the, your microbiome uh, a sense of more inflammation that just goes into your entire body. So people who get I have patients all the time. I would say case after case who are severely depressed and anxious, and when they're eating the standard American diet, they end up getting more not only more brain fog and um, worse depression and anxiety, but they're getting that joint pain, like you mentioned. Um, they also have uh, another co-host of um, diseases like hypertension, hyperlipidemia. You usually with a primary care doctor, you see. 10 problems problems at a time in one patient. It's never just hypertension. It's usually hypertension and depression and anxiety. And there's actually a really um, great study which shows in hospitalized patients really doubling the effect of depression because they just had a stroke. They just had a heart attack. They just had um, even cancer diagnosis. And so you'll see there's a strong correlation with your mental condition, what you eat, and even your existing uh, conditions as well. All right. Well, I, I want to stick on the dopamine thing here because yes. that to me just seems to be huge because right. when you all right, y'all. So we are going to actually just stop that video right there because I feel like it said everything that we needed to hear about our mood changes. Uh, the doctors have kind of spoken to um, the, you know, how it affects us. So, you know, again, you all let me know if you're making that connection with how this also relates to ADD, ADHD. For those of you that don't know what they were saying about the gut, you know how everything starts in our gut. Your gut, when they're talking about your gut, they're talking about your stomach, small intestines, large intestines, mainly small intestines, large intestines, although digestion starts in your mouth. I'd like to say they include all of those things, all of those parts of our parts of, of your gut, because all of those different microbes inside of you are processing things and they're communicating with the rest of your body. You know, when you're born, uh, and yeah, Master Herbalist Yaki awakened talks about this. You develop, your gut develops first. And also uh, KT, the arts degree, he's like a wicked scientist or a mad scientist because he knows everything, right? Uh, but they talk sometimes in a lot of technical terms. They break it down really well, the both of them. Like KT, the arts degree, he uses a lot of um, superhero themes because he shows you how these superheroes, a lot of them represent our hormones and our body systems and whatnot. And then Ma Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken, y'all know he'll break it right down to, to, to just an everyday language. So this way you do not even have to be a lawyer to understand what he's saying. Cause y'all know Momo's world is a lawyer. That's why I had to say that. But back to what we're talking about today. Can you fix your kids with these foods? What happens? Well, y'all know there's, um, I think I showed y'all last week when we were talking about like passing down diseases, I was showing you all how giving, and this was in a video I was showing you, or how the research shows that certain foods are banned. These artificial colors and whatnot are banned. So this is why you want to eat more whole foods than processed foods. Y'all, oh, look, G. Albertson, I told y'all Aquita was speedy fast. Matter of fact, it is time for us to go to the kitchen. Now, I started chopping up this garlic so that when I get back from the kitchen, from putting in these onions and Brussels sprouts, then the garlic can go right into the pan and we can start with, you know, cooking up uh, the cheese sauce, I should say. And I, actually, I got to get some water, too. You know, you can't really boil um, 
the, the butternut squash without the water. So I have about five cloves of garlic here and I've got them all chopped up. Now we want to let these sit for a few minutes so that all of the allicins can come out. Allicins are those uh, phytonutrients, the good nutrients in these things. So hold up. <laughs> hey, what is going on here? Linda Ballard. Amen. Praise God. Amen. When I think about the goodness of Quita and all that she's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me stop playing, y'all. I appreciate you, Miss Linda. Miss Linda is the is the G-O-A-T. Let me tell y'all about Miss Linda. If you don't know, thank you for the super chat, first of all. Let me just, you know, get myself together and say that. Thank you so much for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Amongst all the clowning, I really do appreciate it because we got to save ourselves, y'all. Linda Ballard, 911 Health, she's always talking about different ways to help ourselves with, you know, health solutions, right? I'm going to, while I talk about Ms. Linda, I'm just going to um, separate these onions a bit so that when they wind up on the in the toaster oven, they can all crisp up. And I'm going to add just some olive oil and some seasonings. That's it. So Linda Ballard, she has a lot of shorts videos. She does a lot of satire and she is no spring chicken, right? She ain't brand new, but when she talks, you're like, wait a minute, is this a 20 year old? Or could Miss Linda Ballard look like she might be a little seasoned, but let me tell you something about Miss Linda. <laughs> she has a good time, okay? Y'all know I use uh, one of my favorite seasoning salts, this Goya adobo right here. And I just sprinkle some over. So that way they already have some flavor. And you can also wait until they finish to sprinkle the seasonings in there. So I'm going to just break these up while y'all see it. <clears throat> and when I say break these up, you know, onions have layers, right? So that's what you're doing. You're just separating those layers a little bit. And you're also tossing all of the, what do you call it? Lord, I just tossed some stuff out the pan. You're just tossing all of the things together like the Brussels sprouts and the onions. Because I told y'all, when I asked my kids what they wanted, they said, we want the noodles and we want the Brussels sprouts, but we don't want them soft. We want them crispy. So I said, oh, okay, I got you. So I said, I'll just put them in the toaster oven. And I think I only used about eight or 10 Brussels sprouts here. I used two or three small onions because the onions were so tiny. So it is time to head to the kitchen. Thank you, Momo. She is congratulating Miss Linda as well. Like, whoa, wow, Linda, wow. All right, y'all. So in order to go to the kitchen, we are going to have to switch to this camera. And this is the camera that will go with us. So I'll mute us over, over there. This is what happened when you try to be Okay. I think this will do. So let's take this to the kitchen. All right. And I'll take y'all past the piano because remember I told y'all we had a new piano. I'm going to tell you that story a little bit. The piano teacher graced us with this. I told y'all my kids play harp. That's the harp. Um, yeah. So basically um, what's happening is we're going to take this to the kitchen. Is the, is the echo gone, y'all? Let me know if the echo is gone, okay? I'm gonna open the doors here. Put that in there. We close the door and we just turn the knob. I know, I love the golden coins too. Y'all, let me know if the echo is still here. Like, what's going on with the echo? And let's see if I can get back to where I was. Y'all don't come. Don't. Oh, wait, let me mute.
Okay, woo. Let me put y'all back in here so y'all can see the food cooking because we are going to have to put some water in this pan. Okay, so hopefully y'all didn't see too much of what you weren't supposed to see. Y'all let me know if y'all, if I showed y'all too much of my um, business. Oh, Momo's World, thank you so much. She says, wow, nice piano. The kids have been playing that piano every day since we got it. Like I had to pay for the delivery and that was it. And the only reason I had to pay for a delivery is because we live in a condo building and there are like, we live on the first floor, but there's like eight steps to get into the building. And they said I had to pay for the steps. Free piano and my children were ecstatic. They've been playing. They've been having such a good time with it. So whew, let me show you all how we're going to do this cheese sauce. Okay. Then we're going to do the video for the breakfast pie. Because I showed y'all, you can get this breakfast pie. You can easily make this breakfast pie. So I'm just going to pour in all this frozen butternut squash. And people will say, well, how much? This is about two cups. But again, you buy it frozen because you get a better value. I'm also going to add in the garlic. And remember, there's a lot of garlic here. That is what gives the flavor. Oh, G Mama Grove says, I like that piano. We had one in the house when you were younger. Yeah. So, you know, my kids, I started them playing violin when they were two, four, and seven. And then they played for about two years. They had recitals and everything. You know, the two-year-old wasn't doing nothing. That was like a, the waste of money it is what some people would say. And then on the other hand, it was a wonderful introduction because you know, once they think they're doing something and they look back at the pictures, they're like, oh, yeah, I played violin. I can do this and that. Yeah, baby, you can. So um, then they picked it up again when my oldest was in fifth grade. She was 11 or 10. I think she was 10 going on 11 or something like that. So then she was uh, no, she went to sixth grade. She was playing. So she was 11. They were now 11, nine or 11, eight and six. So since she was in orchestra, uh, we had a piano player that I had gotten started. So with the piano player, um, you know, he would come here, he would do private lessons on the keyboard, but we did not have a piano piano. So, oh, y'all, let me throw the water in and turn this food on. Lord knows. Okay, so this is on. I'm going to put the water in. I'm going to cover it for now without the water because I don't have a drop of water in the studio. What life am I living? Anyways, about the piano. Oh, good. G Mama grows hard in the garden, says she thinks she can still play her recital song. Yeah, my kids have been, hold on, I got to have this gray hair because I forget to color it before I showed up. So my um, kids, I got them playing piano again before they went back to violin so that when my daughter, oldest daughter was in sixth grade and she was 11, they had been playing piano for about a year at that point. But the sixth grade orchestra teacher was amazing. And so she's the one that we found out she did private lessons, not just for violin, but she said it was beginner piano, but homegirl is, she plays a harp, piano, violin. I don't know what else she plays. She's like a David Hunt. I know music is amazing. G Mama grows hard in the garden. It really is. And it grows your children's brains. So if you're trying to figure out how do I manage my child's ADD ADHD, all of that kind of stuff. Do what you got to do. Okay. Uh, provide them, number one, with whole foods. You take out all of these uh, dairy products because y'all see the cheeses that I have. These are non dairy, right? We got Follow Your Heart brand Parmesan that we're going to put in here. We also have our cheddar style, Wegmans cheddar style. And then I got my rice noodles. So for some of you thinking, it's the gluten. You have ways of mitigating this. Also, put your children in extracurricular activities because some of these ADHD children are lonely. Okay. <laughs> G uh, G Albert, what you talking about? There's a squirrel in the house. <laughs> hey, Nikki, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. I'm going to go grab some water. Uh, and that way we can properly cook these butternut squash and garlic for our cream sauce. Okay. So I'm going to show you all our plant-based treat that shows you how to make this breakfast pie 
So this way, while I go grab the water, y'all have a chance to put in hashtag, hashtag um, health heroes. That way somebody can win something, right? Uh, so put in hashtag health heroes. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and play the, where is it? It's called a breakfast pie. I think it's called a breakfast sweet potato pie. Y'all know I have all my videos loaded up in the background. And let's see if I can find it since I'm talking about it. I found it. It's a sweet potato breakfast pie. Enjoy this one, y'all. Sweet potato breakfast pie. Cut and cook the potatoes. You can boil or bake them. Sweet potatoes are an excellent source of beta carotene, which is a powerful antioxidant. These help lower the risk of cancers like prostate and lung cancer. The cashews will make it uh, very creamy. Cashews contain healthy fats that help lower bad cholesterol to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and heart attack. I'm going to add flour. Also add in some salt. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon contains antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties to relieve digestive discomfort with its prebiotic properties. A tablespoon of sugar. Blend it together so that we have these coarse crumbles. So we've got these coarse crumbles that you can press together. Next, you just add a little ice water. Add ice water until the dough forms. Two tablespoons of sugar, tablespoon of syrup, a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, Add a couple of tablespoons of our flax egg, which is just simply flax seeds and water. Studies show that eating flax seeds every day can lower the levels of bad cholesterol and it's a great source of fiber to promote regularity. We'll add a little bit of milk, about a third of a cup, some walnuts, pecans, and I also took Brazil nuts. Press out the dough into these cups. I did bake the dough for about 10 minutes. Bake on 375 degrees. I like the crust. It was nice and crispy. I like the nuts and the filling and uh, I also like the filling because it was sweet. Y'all, I am back in the studio. I had to get my magic wand. All right. So y'all know this is the secret. My brawn mixer. I had to make sure it was plugged up. Y'all, that is how I made this breakfast pie, but I took the cheat sheet the easy way. And pff, there's a pre-made crust. Y'all know that graham cracker crust, okay? Now, if you don't want your kids to have all those issues, then give them the crust that you make. But look, CG Mama grows hard in the garden says, I love pie for breakfast. Sometimes you add ice cream. Look, and I, I eat non-dairy ice cream, right? And I know it ain't no good for you, but hey, Coach Mary Ma's in there laughing. Uh, Y'all, make sure you put in hashtag health heroes because y'all know it is time for our faves 100 giveaway i did add the water so that means the onion i mean the garlic and the butternut squash is boiling so that by the time we finish with our i'm gonna take this headset off y'all because it was supposed to be connected to my extra camera but it just keeps falling off my ear and the camera ain't connected so the butternut squash gets soft in about three or four minutes. Like it gets soft really, really quickly. So that's the nice thing about this dish. Um, we're going to do our faves 100 giveaway. So thank you. Good job. Oh, and Tracy Mingley put it in there as well. Thank you. The everyday life of an OCD is chick and Tracy. I told y'all Tracy introduced me to Facebook. So if I'm fabulous on Facebook, it's because of Tracy, Tracy Mingley. If I am horrible on Facebook, it ain't her fault. She did. She tried. She tried. All right. So good. Everybody has it in there. I'll go ahead and show you all what's going on here. And I know y'all are like, how is this going to be a creamy, cheesy sauce? But it is. Remember, I cooked this sauce at the, um, what you call the place? Dang, I should have threw some red lentils in here. Y'all, if you want added nutrition, throw in a handful, like a half a cup of red lentils. They soak up the water and they get creamy right along with the butternut squash. Dang, do I have time to put some in there? Anyway, let's just go. Um, you know what? Butternut squash soup is, you don't even need butternut squash soup anymore. You're going to see this butternut squash 
turn into a cheesy sauce, Tracy. So this is why I'm showing you all this, because when people think of butternut squash, the, one of the main things they think about is butternut squash soup. They don't think about it that butternut squash can be your addition to a pie. Next week, I have a, a workshop because y'all know I go in person and I do workshops with people where I cook live. So next week, I have an early childhood learning center. I will be making these pies with them, okay, where we use sweet potato, we use butternut squash, we use plant-based milk, nutmeg, ginger, and sugar. And we pretty much just blend it up and then throw it in the pie crust and put it in a toaster oven. That is it. That is how I made these yesterday, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Okay. Because I, again, I simplified it from the one that you just saw, the video that you just saw. So let's do the Faves 100 giveaway. Let's see if I can share this screen so you all will know that it's not me making it up. It literally is, um, you know, the system. Okay. Thank you again, Linda Ballard. We do appreciate your contributions. Make it dropping those coins. That is a huge gift. And I am, I am most grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get it. Uh, look, Tracy Mingalee says she had gallbladder removed last week, so suits work. Let me tell you, this also works for gallbladder, Tracy, because with your gallbladder emulsifies or breaks down the fat, right? It releases that uh, gall, that bile flu. I about to say the gall. It reduces the bile, which helps us to break down the fat. And so what happens is when you don't have your gallbladder anymore, a lot of people have issues with fats. So this is why I'm using my non-dairy uh, stuff. Now, these, these do have fats in them. However, they have like coconut oil um, because a lot of times the whole food fats are not as detrimental for you as the animal fats. I'll just put it that way. Good. Tati wants to win. Okay. Y'all, why does it say zero? Hold up. Why does this say zero entries? Let me do this again. Y'all, y'all, we're going to fix this because y'all are putting it in. I'm going to choose a live stream. Holistic Solutions. Lord, did I choose the wrong live stream at first? I'm sorry, y'all. That's why I show y'all the screen so y'all can see I'm not cheating. And I was cheating. Now we got six people in there. Thank you. All right. So, uh, look, G, G. Albert talking about squash potato pie. Look, you can make a pie out of anything, y'all. That's why they got bean pies, okay? Because it's doable, right? I'm going to turn this down because it's about to uh, turn the camera off with all that steam. All right, yeah, put it in again if you need to, Okay. Thank you, Tracy. You know, I'm a nurse. Child, you know, I've been a nurse 30 years now, but I did not know all this nutritional information until I really started to do my research during lockdown. I had a lot of time to discover all the doctors that were doing research that's saving us, saving our kids. Because, you know, if you have children, they're only children for about seven years, right? Ten years. By then, they can walk. They can do stuff on their own. They start making decisions. And you really start to lose control because when you send them off to the... Uh, Oh, put the H in your um, health hero so you can win, okay, Ania? You know, when you send your children off to school, you send them out like they're no longer your children. They're learning so many other things that we don't want them to learn, okay? So, uh, Tracy Mingley, you're saying yes. Let me know uh, what you're saying yes to. Is it the fat? Is it the non-dairy? Is it the animal fats? Let me know. Let's go ahead and run this, y'all, so we can see who today's faves 100 hero is. Ania, Gia Mama Girls, Tati C. Petita, Ania, Coach Mary Ma, the everyday life of OCD district. Coach Mary Ma, G. Albert, Coach Mary Ma, Ania, the everyday life of OCD district. Ania, the everyday life of Gia Mama Girls, Hard in the Garden. <gasps> Nikki, the everyday life of an OCD district. Congratulations. You are today's winner. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Nikki, you are a winner, always a winner. Uh, y'all know Nikki is the one. Oh, thank you, Tracy Mingali says, yes, you are a great nurse. Y'all know I got um, employee of the month, last month or the month before, something like that as a nurse. And they always, they always congratulate me and ask me to come back. Look at, uh, look at Tracy saying, okay, Nikki, congratulations. Nikki, Coach Mary Ma is congratulating you right along with G Mama Gross, hard in the garden. Momo's World, I guess you're going to have to win next time because Tati C. Petita is congratulating Nikki along with Tracy Minga Lee. This is how we do it, y'all. So let's get back to showing you all why Tracy is, I mean, excuse me, the everyday life of an OCD is chick is a winner. If you're wondering what she's won, yes, she has, uh, she is in the drawing to win or she's going to automatically win the ebook, the Pasta Suppers ebook. This recipe will probably be in there. 
But today she gets the honorary title of Plant Power Titan. That means 80 or more of her points have come from fruits and vegetables. For every fruit and vegetable, you get five points. So like this butternut squash is five points. The garlic is five points. Brussels sprouts, five points. Onions, five points. That's 20 points just in this one meal alone, okay? Some of you might say, I can't reach that. Okay, fine, be a superfood Avenger. You, all you gotta do is reach 65 points for the day. Or you can be a Faves Crusader when you reach 50 points or more of 50, excuse me, of fruits and vegetables. So let's see what the Plant Power Titan of the day is saying. First, to give an honor. <laughs> That's your acceptance speech, Nikki. There you go. There you go. Give honor, right? Uh, Momo's World, you gotta hit the live button. Touch the screen and then touch the word live. This way you can catch up to where we are because if you get behind in the stream, child, you'll be posting stuff late and we'd be trying to make you feel good like you're up to speed when you're not. But anyways, let's just do this. Let's go ahead and parade this because we're at the uh, 45 minute mark and this we just started cooking at like the 15 minute mark. So that means we've only been cooking for about 15 minutes, but I'm gonna show you what's happening in the pot, okay? Look at G Mama Girls laughing at y'all, okay. Let me fix the camera so we're getting food instead of everything else. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I got to blow the steam so it doesn't take the camera out because y'all notice what it does. Okay. So now, as we see, the um, water has cooked down some. I'm going to put another splash of water so that way, as I blend it, it will get um, creamy. Okay. Also, I'm going to, let me make sure this is all the way on the screen. Pull this, yeah, I guess that's about it. Can y'all see that? Let me, let me just get the screen a little closer. This is how you uh, give the people what they want. There we go, get in the pot. All right. I know I'm almost worried. We ain't wanna talk about you, but you know, that's what I do. I learned that in church. You know, they would talk about people and pretend like they was just saying the goodness of God and uh, how you should adhere to certain things. Child, they were just talking about folks. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some seasonings, right? I'm just throwing this one in here. And I'm gonna put in about a teaspoonful. You can put in a little bit more if you need that. <laughs> the everyday life of an OCD chick, because I see that. Okay, good, good. Y'all seeing everything okay? And then after the seasonings, we're going to take our mixer and we're just gonna blend it smooth because this is how people would make butternut squash soup. They literally just blend it smooth. They put it into a blender. Oh, oh, there we go. And y'all see how fast this is happening, right? Boom, takes no time at all. Smooth and very smooth, just like that, as you all see. I was trying to um, move it around so y'all can see. I'm gonna put it on the spoon so y'all can see just how smooth it is. Okay, just blend it smooth, just like that. And now this is where you're going to add in your noodles and a little bit more water, okay? Because when you throw in the water and the noodles, now these particular noodles are going to get soft really quick, like really, really quickly, okay? Did I finish telling y'all how I got the piano though? Did I tell y'all that it's because I give? I told y'all when you give, you get, when you reap, you sow. So let me just open this bag. I'm just gonna cut it with my Cutco knife. Y'all know this is the only knife I have in the house, but I do have two of them because I lost it one time and I've had it about 20 years. I had this before I met Tracy Mingali. And you know, Tracy, these, this rice hair on um, vermicelli would be a good one for you. Okay. I'm going to just put that piece in there. This comes in like three sections. So that's the nice part about it. It helps you to portion it out quite easily. And so I'm going to put that section and I think I'm going to put half of another section in here so that you all see how this works. It looks like straw, because it's just rice noodles, okay? Once I throw that in there, I'm gonna turn the fire back up. I'm gonna put some more water. I'm gonna cover this up, and y'all are gonna see how this comes together. 
So this is about another cup of water. Then I'll throw in the cheese so that way it can get um, melted as we go. And remember I showed you this, Wegman sells this, but everybody has it. Um, these are just Wegmans plant-based shredded cheese, okay? And that's gonna give us a cheesy flavor, but that adobo is also gonna give us a cheesy flavor. So that's about a cup of that, half a cup, yeah, about a cup. And I have about a half a cup of this Follow Your Heart Parmesan left. So I'm just gonna throw that in there too. Now that has a nice salty flavor right along with the, um, what do you call the stuff? Right along with the um, adobo, the seasoning. And at the end, you can always add a little bit of seasoning if you want to, okay? That way, if you need that salty, cheesy flavor, because you know, cheese is high in salt, very high in salt, but we don't see it and they don't put it on the package, so we don't know it, but it's in the processing. Again, if you want to get your kids off of the ADD medication, get them off of all the processed stuff. So we want to make sure everything is covered. And once it's covered, I'm going to add a little bit more water just to be sure. Boom, that was about another fourth cup. I'll put the lid back on and then we're going back to the kitchen, okay? Because remember y'all, um, once we get into the kitchen, we can get the Brussels sprouts and things that are going on top. So I turn this back up so that will melt really quickly. Let me know if y'all have any questions so far about what this is, how this is coming together. Look, rice noodles are delicious. G-Mama grows hard in the garden, right? G-Mama talking about, why do I want soup all of a sudden? Look, once you see this final dish, you will not want soup because you're going to be like, oh, I could have something to bite on and chew on and enjoy in this soup. Yes, this particular soup tends to be um, I mean, this particular dish, it's a nice creamy dish that you can serve up at Thanksgiving because remember, you have those Brussels sprouts making you fancy and you also have the um, onions. So let's go to the kitchen and see what they're doing. I am going to mute us right here. Then I'll un unmute us right here. Let me make sure I put that wand back. Hold up. Okay. Headed to the kitchen. Oh, wait. I ain't supposed to be showing y'all all the business stuff. Let me cover this. Can y'all hear me okay? Let's check on this food. Lord, it's burning up. Let me get this stuff out of here. Hold up. Child. Now, when I say it's burning up, it's not really burning up, but people like to see that char, okay? So I'm going to just close the doors on the toaster oven. Y'all see how quickly that cooked, right? Wow. We're going to bring this back and I'm going to mute. I had to figure out where to put y'all, so I just put y'all face down on the desk, okay? While I put this food here on the chopping board. And y'all know the nice thing about this one here is you can just take it apart. <laughs> now both pieces are separate. So now you can put this one in the bag to be washed. And you can put the part that plugs up anywhere you have space. Okay, so this is typically our trash bag. I'm going to just put this here to be washed. Let's see. We got our keyboard. Let's get our food camera back in place so y'all can see how this all works together. Lord, is you mama girls talking about me? She got them eyes like, what is going on over there, Quita? I'm confused. <laughs> y'all, let me know if y'all can see and hear me okay, all right? And I'll put y'all back on the stand. Let's see.
I think we're going to turn this down so I can stir this up and y'all can see how it looks, okay? Because the dish is done. Like, this is literally it. The vegetables, um, they're nice and crispy. Some of them have a char. Like, the, the leaves, the smaller leaves on the um, Brussels sprouts is what has the char because I want to show you here where a lot of them, they don't have any char. What you see when I say char, I'm talking about the acrylamides, the black parts, the black bits. And they say that's the... When I say acrylamides, they say those are the parts you should not eat. When your food gets that black on it, y'all know how we like that black because, you know, the dog and the berry. But they say don't eat that part. So I'm going to just pull out a few of those pieces, even though those are the crispy bits we love. I'll just put them over there on the side. And then now that this is cooled off, I'll show you what's in the pan. Let me turn the camera back on. I was trying not to make y'all dizzy. Let me take the lid off. Let the steam out and I'll let you see what's going on here. All right. So you all will be able to see what I mean by this is a creamy noodle dish. Okay. So as you see those rice noodles, look, I got some of the um, Brussels sprouts that I already dropped in there. The black bits that I said we weren't supposed to eat. I'm going to eat it anyway. Because y'all know that's the part we like. And this is it. Like the dish is done. So now all you got to do is uh, break up your noodles a little bit so that they get incorporated into the sauce. Just like that. Matter of fact, I can turn this off because the only other thing that has to happen is we just taste it and see if we like the flavor. We also can serve it up, right? Woo. I'm going to try a little bit. Let me show y'all on the other uh, on the other camera because I thought I had the food in the picture, but it's not. Let me put it over here. I'm so busy looking in the pot. And thank you, Gail at Night, for reminding everybody to please click the like button. Y'all know Miss Linda Ballard, the one that gave the uh, super chat, is the, I found her through Gail at Night. If y'all haven't been to Gail at Night's channel, in real life, she's a private investigator, but go over there and find out. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> We're having a good time over there. Hey there, all the way from Jamaica. So good to see you here. Um, the amazing MNG, always glad to have you here. And thank you so much for the thumbs up. I do appreciate that just as much as I appreciate Miss Linda Ballard. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here and I'm gonna serve some up in this bowl so that way you all can see how this dish has come together. Oh, let me taste a little bit first because I usually add a little bit more adobo at the very end. I'm just going to taste the cheese sauce. Mm, that's nice. But I do need just a little bit more of my adobo because more of that butternut squash is coming through than I want. So I put in another half, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon full, blend it in. And then I just serve it up. And you do not need more cheese than I added. Like literally you all, that cheese, you can um, put it in for effect, okay? <laughs> Don't put that cheese in um, for your life's work. Whoa. This is how you serve it. You put it in the bowl. Make sure you get plenty of sauce in there. And then, Mm -mm -mm. Then what you do is you grab some of the Brussels sprout and the onion and you put it right on top. And this is how you feed your children so that they have that nice crunch. They have all the things that they need, right? All the flavors in one dish. I'm going to try a little bit. Now, remember, we did season our Brussels sprouts right before we started this dish. I told y'all I made this yesterday, but we started running out because the kids were like um, tearing it up. But I have to give some to the piano teacher today. Look, when I tell you, look, you're a lawyer, Momo, but for real, for real, Gail is a, is a private investigator in real life. Like that's one of the one of her real jobs. She, um, 
is not called private investigator, but that's what she does, okay? Let me tell you the amazing MNG. This is super delicious. It's hyperallergenic. It's going to help you all with those moods. It's going to help your kids. And look, if you need more health help, you know where to go. Linda Ballard, 911 Health. Let's see if we are ready for our uh, super fat sign off. Let's just taste this and see, okay? Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if y'all can hear me crunching. I tried to get close to the mic to do sort of like an ASMR sort of thing. But the onions, they still have some nice, a nice crunch. Meanwhile, they're soft. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have to say, yep, get in the mic, get in the mic. <laughs> oh, the Jamaicans are so full of love. Blessed love, bless up yourself, the your amazing MNG. You're always saying such good kind things. She's saying hello to everybody in the chat. Let me tell y'all what time what time it is. It literally is time for the super clap sign off. That means we can't stick with this binary music, okay? We gotta go to the DJ is clap music where the music, the food is so good it makes you want to clap. I now have a friend in here from Germany. AJ is road tripping. Hey there, just in time to try this delicious dish. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna eat on camera. Y'all know I can't do that. Um, look, clap it up, G Mama grows hard in the garden because the food is good, and y'all know where to go. Not just my channel, go to Linda Ballard 911 Health. That's the person that uh gave the amazing super chat. Thank you again, Miss Linda. She does wonderful job. Oh, mitochondria is affected. Medicine mask the diagnosis. Mm. Medicine mask your diagnosis. Are y'all hearing this? So your mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cells. That's what she's talking about. So she's telling you the way your mitochondria is affected. Um, the medicine, it masks your diagnosis. So it increases the risk of anxiety and depression. Work with your children, including sensory integration and sensory processing. Metabolic syndrome is linked to ASD, uh, autism syndrome, spe spectrum disease. I think ASD is autism. And NLVD, Lord, I gotta look NLVD up. NLVD, um, non-fatty liver disease. No, nope, that ain't it. But it could be. You know, I don't know. Long story short, clap it up, y'all, and and fix your kids. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. mm. Okay. Urban Gardening Chronicles. I'm coming out of the bushes. Mm -mm. Y'all know I lurk and look over there at Urban Gardening Chronicles. She always talking about the good stuff too. How, you know, you just got to eat real food. She was saying the same thing Saturday. She was telling Broke to leave Chick-fil-A alone. He couldn't do it. But meanwhile, if you're going to fool with Chick-fil-A, get your fruits and vegetables, y'all. Get what you need. Y'all, let's clap it up. Let's get out of here. Cause I'm having a good time. We got AJ's road tripping all the way from Germany. All the good people in the building. I appreciate you all today. If you have not made this dish for a child, make it for yourself. Make it for an adult. Cause these adults have issues too. All right, y'all. We out. I gotta go eat <laughs> some more. <laughs> mm. Oh, she fires too. Hey, y'all know I lurk and look over there. She fires. She was talking about self-defense. You don't just go with the firearms, y'all. She shows you all all the ways to be safe. Head on over there and check her out. Matter of fact, I found AJ is world tripping through her. That's how I found him. Y'all be a fake hero. Fruits and vegetables every spread. Do your thing. Clap it up. Get out of here. Let's go. Mm. Look, AJ is road tripping. You are on time. You in Germany. So whatever time you make it is whenever you make it. I can't eat on camera because my lipstick comes off and, you know, then y'all get me confused with a brother of mine. So we don't want that. All right. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to um, get up out of here. We're going to clap it out. Y'all enjoy your day. Take care, everybody. Mmm. good stuff. Get the soup. Eat the good stuff, y'all.
Mmm. Now I can eat for real. Slow down. 